Hey guys, if you want to be part of the mastermind group or the confident speaker conference, don't think, look back, take action, be an action taker. Just like me, three years back, I was in a miserable state. I was not able to connect with my audience, my clients, even my team members for that matter. Today, I make an impact with my presentations. Vishal Sarkar here. Does it ever happen to you that you are speaking maybe virtually or face to face and uh, whether you are a CA, you are an IT professional, you are a vice president, you are a CEO, doesn't matter, you are a senior manager and uh, you are speaking but people are not paying attention and you can actually see that like does it ever happen to you? Maybe you are speaking and like there is an audience but you can see literally they are checking their phone they are not looking at you you are you're raising your voice you're asking them questions and recently i was having a conversation with one of my one of the people who recently joined uh, one of our programs and he was telling he's a chartered accountant uh, 28 years of work experience post qualification and he was telling me that bishal um, the the problem that i'm facing is recently i was speaking and people were not paying attention I said, see, that's not the problem. The problem is not their attention. Problem is you are not interesting enough. And see, this is a painful situation. If you think about it, you are working for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. And after that, when you're speaking, people are not paying attention. Uh, this is not something that is acceptable. You probably feel ignored. You probably feel invisible. You probably feel disrespected. And maybe you come back home after the presentation and they you know, once you close the laptop, maybe those senior managers, senior leaders or whoever they are, maybe they leave the boardroom before you have a chance to leave. And that tells you that your presentation was not interesting enough. Does that make sense to you? Are you understanding what I'm talking about? And the question is, what happens if this problem continues over a period of time? What if you don't fix it? Well, very soon you have 25, 28, 30, 35 years of experience and now you're redundant, you're irrelevant. Even though you're a subject matter expert in your field because people see you as somebody who's not a powerful leader. Painful but true, isn't it? It's the truth, even if it's painful. So now, the question is, what should you do? Well, may, here are some things that many people have tried. Before they come to me, they join this low-level uh, public speaking courses, which is fine. They go there and they get a bunch of videos, a lot of information, theory, but change doesn't happen maybe you have tried that or maybe you have tried you thought you know I have to get my information better maybe I have to I have to structure better I have to practice more I have to show more confidence but maybe that hasn't worked out for you yet otherwise you'd not be watching this video right now so now the question is what is the solution I'm gonna give you three things right now this is three quick not tips but ways like frameworks from from what we teach inside a program and if you want to take the next step I'll be happy to tell you exactly how to do it the first thing you gotta understand is variation creates attention variation creates attention so in your presentation in your speaking in your meeting in your virtual meeting in your seminar in your one-on-one -on -one client conversation if you are speaking to the president of a country it doesn't matter you have to create variation in your communication you can't speak one way for a long time you gotta do something different novelty gets attention Okay, I enjoyed productivity and uh, of course the first uh, role play is excellent. And in fact, practically I have used that. If you remember our pro, our role play. I remember. I used, it, I used that one. And of course I I got six clients in last week. And I, I left one. And I left one. Clap it up. I, clap it up for Kanan. <laughs> Amazing. And I left one. If you remember that in our inter in the personal call, you said that sometimes it's the fear we have to leave someone. So I left one, which is consuming more time for my uh, regular day. So I leave them, I leave them and I got six more. Life is too short for bad clients and cheap wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same. I don't take wine though, but yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So you use the techniques and you got six yes. clients last week. Yes. Yep. And I Bingo. got, I, I did three presentations to 25 people on the budget, in, in fact, UK budget, it was a summary, and 45 minutes speech for the for the budget summary, actually. How did that go? Very good, very good. That is Boom. the reason I, Everybody show a punch, yeah. <laughs> positive punch for Kannan, absolutely, good. And that is the reason I got six clients. 
in in wow. in two days. So from the speech, because of yes, the speech, from, that, from the speech, from that speech. The number one variation creates attention. Number two, understand that you have to master your voice. Most people are boring. They speak like this. Hello, good afternoon. Today we are going to talk about different ideas about leadership and exactly how to be and growing how to be growing like in this organization and we are going to be giving you 35 tips about leadership we're going to be talking about exactly how we can work from home better and we'll also talk about how we can manage our time better and we'll also talk about how to have a roti and rice better we'll also talk about how to wash our hand better now we got to be interesting so your voice modulation doesn't mean you're speaking loud all the time you got to create sometimes loud there is pitch there is tone there is status good I go, i'll tell you something you can go to different people get a good coach i'll tell you more about that later on so number one <coughs> variation creates controls attention um, number two change your voice modulation and number three become an interesting storyteller and I'm not talking about story where you talk about Ram and Shiva and Rama and story, business storytelling, right? Business storytelling. Uh, just last week, I was uh, doing a storytelling workshop for, for some of our clients and they were telling me that this one skill, because they did not have that, it has cost them crores of rupees in lost opportunities in the last three to five years. And I'm not surprised by that because look, you have to master your speaking skills so these are some of the things we're gonna we spoke about so far and i wanted to imagine for a second you know imagine you got trained by somebody like me maybe not me maybe not maybe maybe you won't get chance because we have a waiting list for people we're very selective we don't take thousands of people inside our program we take 10 15 people in a group and we really train them i make them practice i we have a very proven process like a, with a track record that's why we are selective about who we take on but I wanted to imagine a couple of months from now, I wanted to imagine that at the end of your presentation, people come to you and ask you this question, how are you such a great speaker? Imagine that when you're speaking, people are not looking here and there. Imagine people are looking at you like as if you have a fevi call between your mouth and their eyes. They're mesmerized. They're staring at you out of respect. Imagine you getting those promotion letters and opportunities and those emails and messages saying you are the leader we have been waiting for. And imagine you coming back home and telling your spouse, I am finally a confident speaker. Imagine going to bed at night knowing now you are an unforgettable speaker. The question is, do you think that will happen by just you watching videos and reading books and waiting and practicing on your own? Totally up to you. I can quickly tell you about um, Dr. Shiv, the managing director of Indian Public School, when he first came to me, he was having a lot of issues with speaking challenges. His major problem was that, you know, he went to some of the best gurus in the world, but he did not improve his public speaking skills. It was a lot of theory, but he did not know how to really transform. Until and unless, I mean, then he was almost ready to give up. And he thought, you know, I've, I've spent about 25 lakhs rupees getting one-on-one -on -one coaching from different people. Maybe I can't improve. That's when he came to know about me. He uh, bumped on a video, stumbled on a video just like this. He called my team members. The rest is history. Maybe my team will put a video of him at the end of this uh, end of this video. But now he's a powerful speaker, confident speaker, great voice, great body language. And the thing is, if he can do it, you can do it. So you have three choices right now. I'm going to tell you quickly right now. Choice number one is stop the video, go back to your old life, keep watching more videos, keep, keep watching other people and think that, you know, your life will automatically improve. That's option number one. Option number two is join some low level or mediocre theoretical program where you get a bunch of videos, you get a lot of PDFs, a lot of, you know, Zoom sessions or physical workshop, whatever. But where the speaker is not world class enough, they don't have 14 record, 14 year of, you know, track record like me. You can do that. And you, I'm sure that by trial and error of doing, you know, different courses in the next five to six years, I'm sure that you can really improve your public speaking skills. And the final, the third, is get a time machine and what i mean by that is get a great coach to coach you it uh, in a small group where there are like-minded people like you um, 
where you are getting individual attention, you are speaking, you're getting feedback, you're learning the practical way in the most powerful way. Whatever, whichever choice you take is fine with me as long as you make the decision. Ask yourself the decision that, hey, this decision that I'm going to take is that, is it taking me toward my goal or away from my goal? That's it. If you learn it on your own, is that taking you toward your goal or away from your goal? Think about it. That's that's the ultimate thing. That's what I have for you. I gotta tell you, sometimes if you don't solve problems sooner enough, very soon it becomes a big plant of a problem. And then this problem is big and you don't know how to cut it. But there are ways to cut it from the root, if that makes sense to you. That's my tip for you right now. Hope it helps. Bishal Sarkar here, reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Hi, I'm Dr. Shiv Kumar and the biggest learning for today for me is like uh, the four quadrants of voice modulation like which Bishal explained very clearly and he's a man with uh, who gives very practical solutions for your problems like and about your facial expressions during your presentation, your body language and all those kind of stuff and uh, I feel really pumped up for today's session and uh, I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group because he's a person who really builds confidence in each one of you and I am a, a real-time example for it like when you attend a session like everything is gone and you, you're totally pumped up to face the future and I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group and get benefited become a confident person confident speaker and have a purposeful life thank you uh, hi I am Kripa um, I work as operations manager uh, in Bangalore uh, my biggest challenge is um, um, I went through some you know low, lowest point in my life so I was finding it very difficult to you know talk to people I used to corner myself um, I didn't have a courage to go in front of people and uh, you know place myself in a, a right position and I also want to help you with my message and it should transform your life and I hope it helps you to not just better your personal life it helps you in all the spheres of life your life be the pa part of the mastermind group contact Bishal's team and you have a living testimonial in front of you thank you hey what do you guys have to say about two people if somebody is watching a video but they want to come to the confidence speaker conference they are skeptical what's your message to them quickly five seconds do it anyway. Do it anyway, okay. Just do it. Yes. Absolutely yes. worth it. Everyone yes. must do it. How many of you feel have... how many of you feel that you have improved your public speaking by coming to the confidence speaker class? Yes, I yes. have. Yes. Yes. Two more questions. How many of you feel that you have improved your communication, confidence and belief about yourself after coming to the confidence yes. speaker? Yes. 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 Last question. How many of you feel that the moment you get out of the door, your life is gonna be better than it was until yesterday? Yes. Yes. Okay, good man. Thank you so much for being here. Awesome. Give yourself a round of applause, okay? Um, so I, you know, always it, it was a setback in my life. Uh, now after the, when I um, found out this Bishal Sarkas web website when I went through, um, and I start, it, it's been a journey, you know, though it is a short journey till now. I thought there is a place where I can explore myself, my potential. So it's basically unlocking myself. Conference has been very practical. It is not like a Dnyan session. Uh, it was very practical. Um, it kept me holding on to, you know, it, to the, every point, every word Bishal was speaking. Um, I could relate very well to my situations and what I can expect and where I want to go. Uh, this was precisely what I was looking for. Um, you can just rely on him and he will make changes in you. And I think uh, there is no second thought about uh, considering him as your mentor. Blindly take a call, go ahead and register yourself and uh, be part of this program.